go, go, go. Welcome back to the Acoustic Shop channel. I am John. Hey guys, it is New Guitar Thursday. John here Welcome, at the Acoustic Shop. It is New Guitar Thursday. Each and every Thursday, at this exact time, we go live and we talk about new guitars. Also talk about what you guys want to hear about. Um, this yes, is, sir. This is a me and you time. This is uh, <laughs> tonight. Jason's not here. We will I, not be quick, told what we're going to talk about. Real quick. The, yes. Uh, we do already zero. have a couple of uh, hashtags. Jason Bass Broadcast. That Ew. is... That is Ew. Hot. Uh, the, Nick Boardwell says here to support Jason. I'm I'm so sorry, guys, but it is me. It is yeah. me today. Hankery's here. Sorry, it is Hankery, 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 Stinkleton. I uh, know um, Hankery. Wow, uh, it's all of the above. Anyway, <laughs> Hankery's <laughs> here flying. as well as Trent. I'm a little bit loopy. I was just telling the guys I've had a lot of caffeine today. I only ate a granola bar for the entire day today. And I'm on uh, my medication for trying to get my ear back. So this might be a fun stream. You I don't know. You up, buddy? That's, oh, that's a little great. A little bit loopy. That's absolutely um, great. But it is New Guitar Thursday on the week right before Merlefest. We're getting ready to go. Was that the title of today's show? Like, we're going, we're um, headed? What pretty we? much something around yeah, that, yeah. yeah something going that. to Merle Fest. Right. And, well, actually, the thing that's already been brought up a little bit as well as I can see in the chat, we're talking about Ferk and Boucher. We yes. Got a couple new we got a couple of brand new ones. Them. These got a lot of, uh, that will disappear Eastman. quick. Yeah, and we got some so Eastman stuff to talk about. Super exciting. Some, some cool stuff. So, again, <clears throat> tell us where you're watching from. Tell us what you guys want to talk about today. If you got any questions at all, this literally is the time to do it. Yeah. Uh, we can talk about what inventory is here and what is not, what's going to be leaving. Yeah. Um, and I also, you know what I want to do? I want you guys to tell me what you think we should pack to bring to Merlefest. If you're going to be there, I want to know what you want to see there because I'm actually going through the instrument inventory right now, trying to pick out stuff to go to Merlefest. So it's going to be a whole nice. bunch of fun. Okay, so, are you yeah. ready for the very first question that Hit I saw? Me. Hit Rex, me. Rex Green, who, by the way, is soon hey, Rex. from Benton County, Missouri. Rex Green's asking, uh, what, are your, what are your opinions on Alpine versus Adirondack Spruce? They are different. Um, we used to, what there was thoughts? a limited run of Alpine Spruce E6s and E8s that Eastman did. It was definitely different than both. I would say it leans more towards Adirondack and it kind of sat a pretty good space in the middle. It is stiffer like what Adirondack spruce is, um, giving it you know, that little bit more headroom, a little bit more power, um, but still was a little bit softer and warmer, not quite as much punch and drive as what the red spruce or Adirondack spruce yeah. does. Yeah. Definitely kind of sat in the middle of the Sitka versus Adirondack debate. Good guitars, really nice uh, tone wood. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it at all. It's, I still, for my personal belief, I'm still a Red Spruce or Adirondack fan. I just think, you know, I know a lot of people, I'll be honest with you, I disagree with what a lot of people say on them, which is it takes forever for them to break in. You know, it takes forever for all guitars to break in. They just continue to do it. Um, it's just, you're going to get them to grow. And honestly, to me, uh, Adirondack top sounds better from the start. So there's my opinion on it. You guys take it as you want. But, okay. you know, I know there's a lot of naysayers like, oh, it'll take me forever to get an Adirondack top to, to fully break. Guess what? To get a Sika top to fully break in is going to take you forever, 40, 60 years. There's no such thing as fully broke in. Um, those 70, 80-year-old guitars are still breaking in. They still change. So there you go. Here's my opinion. Very take nice. that, everybody. All righty. So we got a lot of comments real quick. Uh, Daryl is tuning in. Hey, Daryl. Let's see. Good Vince, to see you. Vince Fielding, here's your reminder. Uh, six days, 10 hours, and 55 minutes until I the just read open. A, repo a report that says Vince not going to be there until Friday. So he knows we're going to be there earlier, but he'll be there on Friday. So, Vince, yeah. I'll be hanging out with you on Friday. We're going to do You know, I'm putting you to work, probably. You're going to work one of the booths. Um, so I don't have to. I'll go watch shows. That's really what I'm planning on doing. You know, this lineup for Merle Fest is 
probably one of the best festival lineups I have ever seen. There is every. Are you are you want to see the, the troubadours? Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm excited to see the Earls of Leicester. It is. Crazy I want to see uh, Br- Bela Fleck live again. Uh, the My Bluegrass Heart again. Uh, gosh, there's so. I, I went through that lineup the other day. It's just nuts. It's great. All right. So real excited. Real about quick. It. There's a lot of comments. You guys are so great. Real quick, by the way, if you guys, if we are unable to answer one of your questions, please just comment again. Yep. Spam it. The more that we see it, the more that we will answer it. Just putting that out there real quick. Also, I see 70 people watching, only 15 likes. What? Please, Hit that if like you button. would do me a favor, by the way, please we're, like this stream. And we are then, also on a subscriber drive, guys. Yes, we're please. like 300 away from 280. Less than 300 yeah. away from uh, 40,000 40, subscribers. subscribers. Guys, tell guys somebody do, else to subscribe. Yeah. Even, go to their account. Sign up somebody else's account and subscribe them <laughs> subscribe, to the Acoustic yeah. Shop. Seriously, it helps us a bunch. Everybody, man. That's All a right. pretty strong uh, milestone, 40,000 subscribers. Okay, real quick, we do have a the first um, request that I see in here. Any E2000 TCs? No. Okay. I know that. We were just talking about that. Any E10Ds? E10Ds. There's one next door. Right Is there one right here? One the Boom. Well, there we go. E10D. Yeah, it looks like it. That was yep. Bulldog you're asking, but someone wants to see it. All right, E10D, sure TC. Look at this one. I love this. Whoa. Back. It is gorgeous. Sides are great. The top's great. Um, nice thermo cured Adirondack spruce top. This one is serial numbered 3427. Let's see if my ear's any better today. Had to do it. Tyler grinned. He did. He couldn't even stop himself. <laughs> Rex Green it's, says, uh, it's sh- powerful. Sorry, Rex Green says, sure, the guitar is cool, but check out that sick camera work. And that's not actually by me, that was by Trent. Trent is working the camera, and that does look really, really good. Good job, Trent. Heck yeah. Uh, Vince is asking uh, for Merlefest, bringing any tone travelers or tone slab picks or TAS merch. So, yes, I'm bringing lots of TAS merch. <coughs> Heck yeah. I just went through the list. There's going to be a brand new sweatshirt. For Vince, actually. I think he had it specially done. Brand new is going to be coming in, so we'll have those first time at uh, there. I only have one Tone Traveler, and I'm planning on bringing it unless somebody buys it. I only have one Tone Dexter left. I'm planning on bringing it unless somebody buys it. So, Vince, if you want us to bring it to you and you're certain you want one, I'd go ahead and order it and we'll drag it with us. Uh, That way it'll just come, come to you. But... Um, but we're out. We're like, like we were just looking. We're, we don't have any, but just the one. So if that's the tone traveler, but okay. Uh, next request, real quick. This is not. This, this is, is a not great a, guitar, by the way. That, yeah, no, that sounds. That sounds awesome. Big, big, yeah. big. And it looks incredible. We had some great comments about how it looks. Yeah, so it does it's, look absolutely it's super, beautiful. super nice. Uh, Christopher J is asking. Greetings from Buffalo, New York. Any chance that you got a Ferk Vintage Three S R O M? I think do we that do? we literally specifically That's do. The specific one we have. All right. Vintage 3 SROM. Oh, it's a Vintage 3 OM SR. Oh, okay. Well, so we're scooting back. Well, I'm going to go to the same spot. There, and, then you, and then correct. Yes, we do. By the way, absolutely gorgeous. These are the hand rub finishes uh, from FERC. Uh, Rosewood back sides. Um, <clears throat> Sika spruce top. Uh, has the uh, Koa binding on the neck.
that says that it's up to 48 months. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is up to 48 months uh, financing. Uh, but you can also have 12 months of 0% financing right now on this. So, Absolutely. Killer, great looking guitar. I love the Vintage Series. That's actually my favorite series uh, from Ferk. It's Hi, just yeah. a really, really nice looking guitar, and they play great. I personally love the gold-plated hardware. I know it's becoming a... For some reason, a hot button issue, gold plated or not. Um, mm. I still like gold plated. I'll, I'll put up a poll. Yeah, you should. You guys like gold plated or silver? We'll, we'll do that, gold or silver. Any other ones that I should do? There is um, really no others. Okay. <laughs> it's yeah. nickel, nickel, gold. Open That's about it. Or closed or whatever. Yep. Um, so, next question. Uh, Nick Boardwell brings up Have you guys ever thought of doing a TAS Discord? I do want to answer that. Yes, we definitely have, and I believe that I may be the one to set it up. I just have not yet because of uh, how very busy we are, you know. It has been every nuts. Day, all the time, always. But yes, I would like to do a Discord. And then that's, that's the other thing, though, is that moderating with Discords, it's like we'll have to. We'll have to spend time on it, but yes, hopefully. We got in three uh, E1D specials. Ooh. This is one of them. We sold one yesterday to my good buddy, uh, Digger Cleverly. Actually just uh, bought one, we shipped it to him. Uh, we're shipping it out today, but uh, he oh, got yeah. this sending out as a, a gift. But the E1D special, one of my favorite, Quilted Sepele back in size. They look gorgeous. They play gorgeous. Thermo cured Sitka spruce top, herringbone trim on here. This price is out at $779 and is available for Eastman's 24 months of 0% financing which is awesome. Right now you can get that on any Eastman over $450. Uh, it's available right now. So you can pick that up and yeah, good deal. Did you just disconnect I just yourself? Talked, I just disconnected my microphone, I'm sorry. Why guys. did you do that? Now it's crackling. Know, you know I'm they're so hearing sorry. it right now. They're going okay, it's crackle, good. crackle, it's crackle, good. crackle. It's, crackle. Good. it's good. I'm back. I'm so sorry, you guys. You probably heard that and that was probably terrible. Also I'm just got in um, E1SS standards. I love these. These are great guitars too. Very uh, nice. Five ninety nine price point with a gig bag. Uh, super super cool guitars, especially for what their price wow. is. It's pretty, pretty incredible. Very very All right, nice. What else do we need to talk about, Hinkery? There's so much. I mean, uh, somebody did ask if we have an E1 P LTD. Did we get any yep. new ones in? Correct. We got one right here. Right, I got one right here. That for new. And then somebody also brought up the yeah. blue gig bag. Have we? We've definitely the new PCHs. Yeah, We're gonna pull that one. Awesome. Trent says that he just photographed that today, and that particular PCH sounds super good. I don't know what makes it super good. But he says so. E1P cool. Limited, right here. These are the Blues Master, classic finish. Um, Adirondack spruce tops on these. That's what makes them a limited nice. batch in a uh, parlor size guitar or single O. Um, they call it a parlor. The cool thing about these also is normally on these uh, parlors or double O's, they have the inch and it's not seven eighths, it's 20, 13 sixteenths. Um, this one will come in at an inch and three quarter. So Ooh. it's a little more comfortable to play. Um, <clears throat> call this the Blues Master uh, because they're cool. my fake uh, Travis pick in there. It was a, with a flat pick and a one finger. It was kind of weird, but. It is pretty bluesy. Anyway, this one, uh, serial number, again, limited edition tags inside these, uh, which is pretty cool. This serial number is 3183 and is available. These are not yet quit at, at the website, have they, Trent? Or mo most of them have? You've been working I on these all day. a lot of them, yeah, a lot of them have. 
We probably ought to peek outside and see what Jeremy and Jason are doing. They're loading up the trailer. Try, yeah. I took a break from it. See if you can peek out there, Trent. See see what, what they're doing. They're, they're loading stuff up. They're loading work. gear, getting stuff ready for Merle Fest. Uh, we had to pull out our booth. This will be the maiden clothes. voyage of this booth. We had a whole new one designed. But I believe it's totally not true, but I'm going to say it anyway. Due to the accident that happened uh, in, where was that? Again, where the bridge collapsed. That was Boston or, huh? Baltimore. Baltimore. Yeah. That it, it slowed it down. It actually didn't. It was supposed to, it, it was supposed to make it here. They had some <laughs> shipping problems with the container. I'm going to blame it on the Baltimore accident, but it's not really, really? true. Yeah, it's not true. I don't think that's true. Yeah. It is totally not true. <laughs> I, I know it's not okay. true. So go ahead and probably you you need to get started on opening some stuff. Okay. On opening some stuff All right. that we haven't so seen. So somebody yet. asked about PCHs now starting to come in these new blue gig bags instead of the tan ones, which I think are great. This one is a PCH one G A C E. I think these go for six ninety nine now. Uh seven twenty nine, something like that. One, yeah. Five ninety nine is a standard for a one, and then these were more for the cutaway and pickup, like forty bucks. So Mm. Oh, it's a PCH. Sorry, I was thinking, e thinking AC 122. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. This is a PCH. Sorry. Now they're coming in the blue bags, and we're starting to see some of those. They still have a bunch of them showing up in the tan bags, but. $3.99. Laminated back and sides, all saw tops. It is a thermo cured Sika top on this, by the way. Now use an oven call for the uh, bridge and fretboard. Um. These do have pickups, Fisherman Sonotone pickups inside, which have the new weird, uh, not weird, it's, it's kind of actually got a lot of extra features for, for uh, Sonotone, which you have a phase button now, a battery control, uh, volume and tone. Nice. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty cool guitar, so. Yes. Okay, you ready for the next? All right, I'm going to try and answer two comments at once because we have a lot happening. The Bill's asking, do you have any Eastman 12 strings in stock? If so, yes. could you demo it? We have I do two. See one over there. Can I bring up real quick that I noticed that we have an a Yamaha 12 string? We do. We have an also, LL16 awesome. version of a 12 string. So they want you to demo the Eastman 12 string. Okay. And then Alex A is asking, we need to talk about why Hinkley and the guitar costume are not going to Merle Fest. Because Hinkley decided she doesn't want to go. <laughs> she decided she just did not want to go to Merle Fest this I year. I am trying to sell Look my again. home. And so I've been working on that a lot. I am too. Why is it I? True. Why is it you're better? <laughs> I've been working on it for even longer than you. And my closing date is in the end of May. I mean, we, the Merle Fest is more of a is more of like a, a sales trip, I guess, and less of a media trip. You know, so that that's also kind of why. I'm, I'm sure that I will be back at a Merle Fest. I can guarantee that I am going to Winfield and IBMA, and the guitar costume will be there. This is my favorite 12 string out there right now. Uh, this is the AC 330E12. Trent has one of these. I think it's a super value, all solid wood, hard shell case, bone nut and saddle, uh, lifetime warranty. Um, all at 11, 11, 20 now is the price, so. It'd be better if I could tune it, but I'm not even gonna try. With my ear being messed up and the fact that there's 12 of them. I'm doing it. Ooh, messed it. There you go, AC330. Uh, I just found out, I believe there's a shipment that'll be arriving while we're gone. Oh, really? That has the A1 Deluxe 12 strings on it. 
Mm -hmm. cool. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know what that, yeah. I've yeah. seen that even, voice, you're right. There's I, a, there's a, the a first ones. Um, okay, so we should probably get to going on the new, new stuff to be sure okay. the FERC. And then side thing, again, guys, I want to grab the special real fast. Coming in. If you want your comments answered, you probably just got to, you know, comment it multiple times. That way we can actually see it. They're going a lot faster on my screen. MD315s are back in stock, by the way. Um, for now, we got a few of them that just arrived. Oh, my God. Look at this. Whoa. Whoa. This is an E1OM special. By the way, the E1D specials. Uh, they have two of them left that are here right now. I have two more coming after this. It looks like that's the end of the E1D really? specials uh, coming in. Now, I'm not going to say for sure, because even Eastman's not sure, but they looked at all purchase orders, and it'll at least be... After those two come in and arrived as they were the last ones they had, I took the last of them, um, it will at least be three to four months, even if there is more, but none of us believe that there are. So anyway, this one's serial number 1366. That is gorgeous quilted sepele. Um, there's like some, just some bubbling, gurgling going on there. That looks great. So, Carol all right. popped in but had to run. Thank you for stopping by, Carol. Yeah, Carol. Um, Corey McCormick is asking, uh, the E1P Blues Master versus the E1OM Deluxe, uh, how do they compare projection wise? Is the E1P loud for a parlor? For a parlor, it's extremely loud. Okay. Especially having the Adirondack spruce top. Now, take into account though, no matter what, an OM's a much bigger body shape, so it's going to put out more air and give you a lot more low end. There's a weird thing that also happens though with the smaller body giving you more mid-range and more highs. High end and high mid-range frequencies are perceived to be louder. Um, I've, I've made this analogy a lot of times. Think of the last time you went to a concert and there was feedback. And if there's a low rumbling feedback, it's extremely uncomfortable, but nobody grabs their ears and freaks out. But a high frequency feedback, those have almost the same limiters. Those, that volume is probably exactly the same because they can only get so loud. Everybody grabs their ears because it seems like it's loud and it hurts. So it's a perceived uh, loudness factor with smaller body guitars. They actually can help you to get a louder uh, sound to it. So, all right, we'll skip on some Eastman's for right now and okay. come back if we need to. But we did get this. Yes. I know Carol would be all about it if she was here right now, yeah. but she's not. So we're going to still talk about it. BG52 GM. Is this a GM? Yep. This is one of the most popular models for us. We rarely keep these in stock because of the fact that as soon as we get them, they sell. This one is a GM with the uh, nickel plated hardware. Uh, this was kind of made popular. They built this originally for Jake Workman. Um, this is kind of like the ultimate bluegrass uh, rosewood guitar. That's really what it's I'm designed to be. I'm going to see where we're at on that pole also because I put it up. This thing's killer. If you are looking for a more modern uh, style bluegrass guitar with a very comfortable neck, it's not a big neck profile, it's gonna be inch and three quarter, but with a more modern neck profile, these things are incredible. And this literally just got received. Did you take photos of this one yet today? Is online now? So now we have a BG42, which is the mahogany version of this guitar, and we have a BG52 GM uh, all in stock, so. Are you ready for a couple more questions? Do we have any tenor guitars in stock? Like Wardwell says he's in the market. 
We do not. Okay. Uh, next, why would a bluegrasser want a mahogany top guitar? Is mahogany more resilient to cracking in the long run? No. I mean, yes and no. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. Most bluegrass guitar players do not want a mahogany top guitar. It's probably the least desirable. They need the punch and the volume uh, that comes from a spruce top guitar. The <clears throat> mahogany mellows out a guitar a lot. Uh, lowers the volume and also gives you way less highs. Um, and again, that perceived volume. Flat pickers especially need the highs and that attack. So um, I would say you don't hear very many mahogany top guitars in a bluegrass world. Um, it's just not popular. Usually it's always gonna be this. Yep. By the way, the uh, the hardware debate is at sixty eight percent for nickel hardware, so that's the that's the that's the popular the popular choice. I know it is. It, it's become crap. You know what's happening in jewelry too. My wife does not like yellow gold. Um, her ring is of white gold. It's more trendy right now to have white or platinum or any of that. The yellow gold is becoming less trendy. I don't know. I mean, it's gold. Guys, I that's what I, here's what I find, again, John's hot take on this whole deal. Okay. It's gold. What color is gold? Yellow. It is a yellow gold color. That's what it is. And white gold, you know why it's white gold? Because they put a bunch of stuff that's not gold in it, and then they cover it up with rhodium or platinum to make it look not gold. It's not gold anymore. White gold is not gold. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I have not. Did a you know all that stuff? I have not a single strong opinion. I don't. I don't buy jewelry, John. Honestly, oh. I really don't. So well, maybe don't, you should. I don't know anything about it. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, next, your next uh, request. Troy is asking, was the best guitar for about a thousand to fifteen hundred? They are a beginner, and they would really like an Eastman. Been thinking you, about an Eastman. 1000 to 1500 the E10D, TC that was just right there, fantastic. If you can't afford that guitar, I would say the E1 Specials. Grab those up while I can. I think that is yep. a fantastic guitar. Um, the E3 Deluxe that just came out is also great. We've got one of those. Uh, I just saw it over here. These are, look great and sound great. The new deluxes, if you want a pickup already in here, I've been called back in sides. Um, the gloss finish helps it out a bunch. I love having, this one's less figured than some of the ones we've seen. But again, thermo cured, sick of spruce top, herringbone around the outside. This one does have a Fishman, um, a, what is it? Priestess. Uh, pick up. Thank you very much, Kinkley. Um, and then this one comes in under thousand dollars, so eight hundred seventy-nine dollars. Um, but if you can get up to an E10D, the E10D TC is just almost impossible to beat. The E60 is also a fantastic guitar at eleven ninety-nine if you yeah. want a sick of spruce top. But yeah. to me, this particular E10, I would grab right now if I was wanting to do a bluegrass guitar. Um, that's that's a that's a monster deal. All right, next request, real quick. Uh, would you mind playing the Wildwood Pro Concertina, Breed Love? Wildwood Pro Concertina. I think I see it right here. No? Oh, I think okay. it's right here. Yep, that's it right here. Wildwood Pro Concertina. concertina. Small body. Looks like it. This is their very small body, the Concertina. Play around. This on is it. Breed Love's all solid wood, all mahogany. Comes with their uh, Fishman. What is this one called? I forget now. What is this? Uh, Sonata? Uh, no, it's something? beyond. It has. It's almost like a. Um, God, what is the name of this pickup system? It has a lot of the. These guys all have these crazy names for all their pickup stuff, and yeah. I just cannot remember what all it is. I can look it but up. But Fishman has like. the. Uh, the. The IRs in it. Do you remember what that one's called? Uh, the Aura. It's like the Aura but it has a lot of the aura stuff already built in, but it is not, so. I can probably look it up real quick.
to hear the name of the tab now? I do. It is the Fishman Flex Plus T. Flesh, Flex Plus T. It is very similar to the Aura. They couldn't use Aura, I think, because Martin's hi tied in on a, a, a built-in like Aura system. Yeah. But it has a lot of the same sort of stuff in here. A lot of the IRs are built in, some feedback resistance. Tuner already built in. All solid wood guitar. These do come with a case, I believe. All right. Yes. Uh, yeah, the Wildwood. Yeah, it's a gig bag, though, on this one, right? I have yep. a padded gig bag. Nine ninety nine. These are fantastic guitars. I really There's do like so nice. them. about all of our mm -hmm. like a music type mm -hmm. of sound. Yeah. Uh, all right, are you ready for some too. more questions? I'm ready. And there are a lot of questions, so as a reminder, if we do not see it, say it again, and I'll read it, or I'll try and see it. There's a lot going on here. Okay, next. What is a good country, bluegrass, and folk guitar all combined into one? 630. There's a lot. What are you looking for, though? What in, for what they yeah, did. They points. did ask if we had any solid mahogany satin guitars and a double O. I do not have That's a solid double O. I know mahogany guitars. Or all mahogany, yeah. Uh, all mahogany guitars. The only one we would have would have been a so Wildwood. And that's uh, very close. That one that we just played, the Concertina, is basically a all solid mahogany guitar in a double, it's their own version of a double O uh, parlor size yeah, guitar. Smaller. That's really what that is based out. Yeah. Not sa not satin finish, though. It's not satin, though. It's gloss. Good point. I just need to know what, what price point, too, because I mean, there's so many options of all yeah. around guitars. Jeez, All I right. mean, that Atkin uh, OM, that would be an everything guitar. The, the OM uh, 37 heavy, heavy aged, that's a, I could play bluegrass on that. I could play folk, I could play country. It looks cool, it sounds great. That's a great, that's a great guitar. I'm thinking about bringing that Speaking, one to Merlefest. Nice. Yeah. Okay, speaking of cases, what is better for both durability and humidity? Fiberglass or five ply wood? Yes, it all depends. Um, the most of the fiberglass cases that people are buying, not the Caltons, not the flight versions of those, are fairly thin. Like that right up there that we have with our uh, logo printed on it. That's what most people are seeing. That one there is from um, Saga. What do they call their company? Superior Case Company. And then the other one you'll see is. Uh, I, they don't make them anymore. Uh, the uh, Guardians Cross don't. Cross Rock has them a lot. Those are very thin ply or uh, fiberglass. As far as durability, I would say they're actually probably less durable than a five ply uh, hard shell case. Um, but they're so light, and that's where their advantage comes from. People think that they're just because they, I had a friend of mine that bought one of those, and he tried to use it as a flight case. It blew up on the first one. It's not a flight case. Please do not think just because it's made of fiberglass that it is any more durable. I, if I stand on that, I will go right through it. I promise you. Where a five ply, I'd probably have a better chance of, uh, of jumping up and down on it. Uh, humidity wise, it all depends on the gasket. The advantage of, again, a five ply case is usually they put a lot more padding in them than what most of the fiber, fiberglass ones have. So it'll hold more moisture in that foam, which will maintain moisture longer uh, inside the case. Uh, but there's also an advantage on the fiberglass cases, they have a gasket on the actual seal around it. So they kind of hold a little bit. Uh, I don't know that there's a major <laughs> winner on that one. It's just kind of okay. like yes and no. And then the goose, guys, the goose is loose. The goose, the is, goose will protect. Yes, it yeah. will. It is here. And it is. <laughs> okay, we need to keep it going yep. on some of this stuff. So we got a fork. Fork time. Yep, yep. I think that we should definitely go to that fork. What did we um, get in? I didn't even see. Oh, I know what it is now. It's I've something. had this guitar on order forever. In fact, it was IBMA two years ago before that that I put this on order. Ferk had no Coca Bolo for almost two years now. This is a Red Deluxe Coca Bolo. I haven't even got to see this yet. Woo! Hiscox this case. Is basically a surprise unboxing right there. Whoa. There you go. Coca Bolo, back and sides, the belly bevel as well as the arm bevel, full on. This has a anthem built in, uh, are already installed. We did not go with the Anthem Stage Pro, but a standard Anthem, which I prefer because then you can change it out uh, at any point in time. The gorgeous. Uh, 
Roman numeral inlays. Uh, the neck uh, should have the met, yep, fret markers on the side. Coco Bolo back in sides. Finally, FERC has Coco Bolo back in stock. They had to make a big announcement about this. Oh, yeah? But I literally had this on order for over two years now. Wow. Goto 510 tuners already built in. This one uh, is going to come in at a price point of $61.43 with the Anthem already installed. It is gorgeous, isn't wow. it? Yeah, the Hiscox cases are great too. Now this one is a hybrid in between. If you can find the Hiscox cases, they're not really available uh, as a uh, standalone in a lot of places. But I know a lot of Europeans almost treat these as flight cases. I still would not check this bag, but it is a heavier duty uh, uh, thermoplastic case. And with that, no, I didn't play it. Play it, play you it. You gotta play it. Play you know a player. that comment's already coming. Is it coming? Okay. And people said it and reminded me that you should play it. Okay. Super comfortable to play. I like having this extra here because it just leans right in on your body with the arm bevel. And excuse me, I'm not hearing my full best, so I don't know exactly how great it sounds, but it definitely has a lot of presence uh, here right now for me. So there you go. The FERC Red Deluxe in Coco Bolo with an Anthem installed. Glad to have that in stock. It's been forever. I had a customer that was like ready to buy this two years ago. All right, but. let's see. What else do we have? Uh, Dukes of Troy is asking, do you have a hot take on Adirondack versus Sidka Bracing? Um, why is that a selling point? Okay, I, I, I can tell you why it's a selling point and why it's important. It's, it's the same as why Red Spruce versus uh, Sitka Spruce. Red Spruce or Adirondack Spruce is stiffer to start with. It has more strength, it is stronger. So the advantage is with the top, you can make it thinner in order to get as much strength out of it, but be able to get more presence out of it. So it can move better, but it has more strength to it. The same uh, as can be said for the bracing. Now this is all theoretical because if a guitar company just puts Adirondack spruce braces on it, it's gonna be exactly the same and treats it exactly the same. It's gonna make no difference at all. Um, but if they can do this and make the braces thinner, and they are doing that, like companies like Bourgeois, Eastman's now doing the same thing, um, and any of the big boutique type places using Adirondack braces gives them the option to make those braces even smaller and yet still have the same amount of strength to them. That's the big advantage. Do I think it inherently just gives it a different sound? No, but it is based off of how they build with it. If you build with Adirondack spruce braces and make them smaller and use less, you know, free up that top more, giving it more strength, it's definitely gonna make a big difference there. So that would be my big take on that. And it's honestly the big reason why it makes a difference in the tops themselves. Again, if somebody uses, uh, and it's been done on some of the lesser expensive instruments, they use an Adirondack top, it does not necessarily make it automatically better. Now it makes it sound better than the one that was next to it, but if they didn't take the advantage of what it is, they don't get the full advantage, which is making it thinner and giving it more presence, more poppiness, get more, more just everything by giving, you know, less mass. So that's the whole game. Okay. Build these guitars as lightly as you possibly can and don't sacrifice its uh, strength and integrity. Then you'll have a great sounding guitar. Just the way it go. is. Uh, a couple, of, a couple are asking uh, which Eastman guitars have Adirondack bracing. None right now, at least uh, that I know. Now that said, we've been looking at the LSHs, our TAS guitars that we just got in. 
I am almost certain they are thermocured Adirondack spruce braces. I'm almost certain of it. Um, you know, somebody specs. asked. Somebody asked earlier, real quick. I can't find it, but they asked, "Is the Boucher or the TAS guitar louder?" What do you? That's think? a hard to call. I'm gonna tell you. I've played so far. We've got five of the TAS guitars in there. Those are the loudest guitars we've had in the shops. They are just loud. Um, they don't have quite as much super big boomy bass response maybe as like the 52 does have, but man, they have so much presence and so much volume. And I think again, do that larger sound hole, it does control the low end a little bit more, and yet those guitars are just mm -hmm. coming out there and they're just, they're loud. I, every time I get in the room and play a strum one in there, it's like, Jeremy was complaining when we did, yes, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday when I played his about yeah. how loud it was and I was barely touching it. So those are loud guitars. Yeah. Okay, so we have the answer. Albert and Tribe was asking about the price range on a good country, bluegrass, and folk guitar all combined into one. Uh, they say they're asking in the $1,000 to $3,000 price range. They said, I like the old cowboy look. Uh, E10SS. TC. Sunburst. That's mahogany back size. Give you that old cowboy. You could play bluegrass on that because it's yeah. got Adirondack spruce top. It's a great country guitar. It's a great sing singer songwriter guitar. The E10 SSTC. I All would. Right. Do you disagree with that, Tyler? No, I think that's it. Yeah. I. I I mean, the, J, the J200 or the, you know, 630, but I don't know if it's the greatest bluegrass guitar. It's a good guitar to cover a lot of that stuff, but man, the J45 style and having a TC Adirondack top. Would you say the SS over a Country Boy Touchstone? A uh, Country Boy Touchstone, Tyler's that'd be a asking, good option. Tyler's asking, would you say the SS over a Country Boy a Country Touchstone? Country Boy Touchstone. Yeah. That's another good option. It doesn't have that, uh, that old school country look though. That was what he did ask about. And that sunburst on the yeah, SSTC yeah. would give you a yeah. little bit of that character. All that's, right. Real that's where I'd quick. Go. Okay. Uh, Peter Davis is asking Eastman E6SS or E10SS, which one sounds more vintage? The E6SS or the E10SS? I don't think either one, neither one sounds more vintage. It'll be a little softer with the E6. Uh, you'll get less of the highs and less punchy. Um, it'll be a little bit warmer maybe on the E6 SS. Uh, if you're wanting vintage, you want an E10 SSV varnish. And I've got yeah. some of those coming. They'll be here in about four or five days. Yeah, that's true. There is a few of those. Coming. There's okay. a couple, three, I think. So real quick, uh, I have neglected to, add, to ask a couple of these comments. So By the way, on, uh, before you get to the varnish, or that, I want to okay. cover varnish. I just got an announcement. They are going yes. to be wrapping up varnishes in the next month or two and won't be shipping for the rest of the summer. So uh, if you're interested in varnish, I've got some coming. But after that, they're going to cut it. So that's the mandolins. That's the guitars. That's you know everything so mm -hmm. it, it's hard for them to ship those in the hot summer months so they're going to be kind of cutting that down i just got to uh, add about that i think they're going to try to be done by the by may so yeah okay good heads up okay so real quick uh, a few folks were asking about new brands so go ahead and give them the rundown one is close one is iris going to be close there. has been shipped it should be hopefully here today or, or sorry tomorrow or saturday someone was I'm, asking about the close mandolin specifically okay earlier. so close mandolin is going to be interesting i will have a close mandolin we will be showing it it will not be for sale for a little while but we will use it to take pre-orders. Now I've been promised we've got a bunch of them already on order and they will be slowly coming out to us throughout May, June, July. By August they hope to have a standard stock but again if you guys are putting your orders in with us now we'll be able to get those things to you sooner than later and you won't have to wait till the August date because we've got a bunch of them already on order but we will have the close mandolin here and then as we get closer to that one that particular one will go for sale um, as we kind of get closer to when other ones are getting ready to release. Yeah. That included with that, I've got shipping here is a Grand Cutaway, a Grand Cutaway Mini, a Travel, and Exciting. a Dreadnought. So we have four guitars and one mandolin. Nice. Should be here very shortly. That's so exciting. Um, Iris, I need to give a call. Um, I don't know where those are at yet. They should be here any day now. Awesome. Um, Somebody I, did ask, uh, would, an, would an Iris fit kind of what that last... Uh, 
person was requesting. It's a g great I option there would, too, yeah. especially that new look of that new dreadnought, or even their new slope shoulder. Mm -hmm. Great, but I think the price is going to be higher. I want to say you're going to be in the yeah. three thousand yeah. dollar range. It'll definitely so. be higher if that's yeah. Um, next, uh, will we ever become Colleen's dealers? I wish. Again, Hopefully. you guys know I keep complaining about it. Um, there are some that are around here that have kind of stopped us from doing so. Uh, call call Steve at no, Callings. Tell him you want to buy your Callings guitar from the acoustic shop. We're the only ones that are doing the Dreadnought program. We're the only ones that are doing uh, you know, a full 30-day return program and our full inspections and all the extra cool stuff that we're doing. And if you want to do that with us, we'd love to do that. Um, but again, it's going to be convincing those and you guys, the customers, that's who makes the difference. I had somebody just sent me a, a, a email today that said they contacted Martin, and we appreciate that. Uh, I, I think it makes a big difference. It will make a difference. So, appreciate it. Absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna call this one the last question, unless you have Go anything else that you want to show off. Okay. Okay. All right. So, when might we be getting an E10 double OTC or E20 double OTC next? Which would be better for gospel? Run that by me again. Okay. E20 double OTC. Or the SS? E10 double OTC. Okay. They didn't say SS, so I, E10 or E20 double OTC. I think I've got one of, one of the two on this next batch, I think. Okay. Maybe not. But I'll, I'll look and see. If I don't have them, it's because we must have just sold them. I, I, we should have had one of each in stock. Now, I've got double OSSs um, in stock right now, both in a 10 and a 20, I believe. Okay. So, uh, and then going from, I guess, yeah, so Rosewood and mahogany, which would be better for gospel, in your opinion? <laughs> That's a mix. If you're going to be strumming more, I would say go with rosewood. If you think you're going to be doing some leads and some uh, strumming, go mahogany. They're both going to be good options. It's just different. There's yep. nothing wrong with either one. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah, we're hitting I it all. That's that, yeah. Holy <laughs> really smokes, guys. Now, I didn't get a Did lot of people. Did you talk about what you wanted to talk no, about? No, well, somewhat. I, I Nobody said what they wanted to see going to Merlefest. I'm going to be bringing a bunch of mandolins. Bunch of, I just found out we got a huge shipment of Elliot's that will arrive tomorrow, so we'll nice. have a bunch of Elliot capos. We got a stock in of some Cat Eyes capos. You want to so, show a little of the boxes? We didn't really do any of that. What boxes are these? Just the stuff that we have packed up. Oh yeah, up. we got stuff packing like crazy yeah. accessories. If you guys look tone guards over here, will be going tone there. guards. We'll have strings. Dedario's working with us. Thank Eastman's you. gonna be there. Bourgeois is gonna be there. Um, they'll be doing some show specials directly Exciting. from the show, which is pretty cool. Um, these are some of the accessories. We're gonna have a new booth this year that'll have a bunch of kind of fun stuff. So if you got kids and stuff that are wanting to have like shakers and uh, harmonicas and uh, you know kazoo's and all that kind of fun stuff, with all the stuff I wanted at a festival when I was a kid, I've got a bunch of that. And I'll be at a secondary booth. Uh, blue chip picks, tone slabs, um, all the cool capos. Fishmen will be there. We'll be selling fishmen uh, pickups and amps uh, throughout the whole. Uh, festival guys i'm just bringing stuff you so much stuff you won't even know what to do with it all it'll be crazy so anyway is that about it I we're guys good, yeah. i appreciate you guys hanging out with me on a new guitar thursday is jeremy and jason still out there working let's see oh, i still see stuff hanging out here there's a tire missing from uh, the trailer we got to put those on uh, i can't go anywhere without that yeah i don't know if you know that you can't you just can't True. So there you go. Anyway, I, uh, I enjoyed hanging out with you for New Guitar Thursday. I hope you guys did t as well. And again, if you got any other questions, put them in the comments. We will try to get to them um, as soon as quick. possible. Uh-oh, you know oh, who that is. I should have muted. It's my wife. Um, guys, okay. um, uh, I'm going to do it. Hold on. Okay. I I'm live right now. I will call you back in two minutes. But I don't want to get in trouble for not answering your call. Okay. She got things to talk to me about. Okay. They're probably interesting, important things. All right, I will cover those in just a little bit. Everybody, there's important things for me to cover on the phone <laughs> with my wife very shortly. That's great. Bye, dear. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, again, thank you all for hanging out with me. It's been a whole bunch Can of fun. I... Yes, you may. Real quick, so we did get brought up. Um, will we be live next Tuesday? So for next week, we will be live at Merle Fest. Okay, yes. guys? Mm -hmm. um, you guys are leaving Tuesday, correct? We fly out Tuesday. That's Trent's thought. leaving Sunday. So Sunday I'm going to go morning. ahead and say that we will not have a takeover Tuesday. We will not have our normal streams necessarily, but folks will be stopping by 
our booth. It's be live stream, on so be ready. the watch. Yeah. Yep. If you don't, if you've not won, again, we got to push that drive. Hit the subscribe button because you need to. Yep. Hit the notification button because there will be people. Trust me. We know people like Sierra Hole will be there, and they probably make stop by. There's talk of a Jerry Douglas stop stop by. I can't make these promises, but that has been already talked to by some yeah. of their people that they work with. Um, so there's a lot of big celebrities that are going to be there. They've already talked to us about coming by the booth and hanging out and filming some content. So we may be doing some really cool lives. So if you are not yet subscribed, you have to do it and hit that notification button because you won't know that we were live, and you'll miss your chance to ask questions of the these super cool uh, celebrities and Heck whatnot. Yeah. Plus me. I mean, don't you just want to hear from me? No? Do they? Do they really? No, they don't. They don't, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. All right, guys. Thank you guys for joining us. We will see you all next week at Merle Fest. Have a great one. Enjoy the weekend. Adios. Sayonara. Thank you for all the safe travels wishes. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I don't know if it would